when you look at what we have we have got a triangle that doesn't have 90 degrees so for a non right angled triangle a right angled triangle is a triangle with 90 degrees but for any triangle that doesn't have 90 degrees if you want to find the missing side or the missing angle if you cannot use the sine rule as we did the previous time then you are going to use the cosine rule now how is the cosine you remember what we said if this is angle A, the side where A is facing, that is going to be small a. If this is angle B, the side where B is facing, that is going to be small b. If this is C, the side where C is facing, that is going to be small c. Okay? So, the, sign, the cosine rule in this case is going to give us a relationship of these sides. So, for example, if you want to find A, we will say a squared, this side squared, is going to be equal to these two sides. You square them, okay? You add them. So a squared is going to be equal to uh, b squared, and then plus c squared, and then you subtract minus 2, and then you write this and this, minus 2bc. And then you say now cos. You started with the, the side A, so you are going to use the angle A. This is the cosine rule. You can also write it in terms of B. So B squared then is going to be equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 AC. And then cos, you started with B. So the angle you are going to use here is the angle B. You can also say c squared is equal to a squared plus uh, this is going to be a squared plus a, b squared minus 2ab and then cos you get c so this what you are able to see here is what is called the, the cosine rule so it is used when you when you've been given two sides okay and then the angle between they have asked you to find the, the other side. Well, they are going to give you the sides and then they ask you to find the, uh, the angles. So that is how you are able to use this rule that you are able to see. Here. Well, let's, let's see how we get to use it. So I'm going to remove this, I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to remove this. Let's say we've been told that this side here is 7 centimeters. And this side here is, uh, let's say, 20 is going to be too much. This is going to be 10 centimeters. Okay. And then we've been given that uh, this is, let's say, 30 degrees. And then they ask, find BC. So this side is what we want to find. That is BC. Okay, now, you know that BC, since that is where the angle A is pointing, we can also say BC means B, like this side, this is BC. So we can as well say BC is what? We know that if we want to use a small letter, look at where it is pointed to. So A is pointing to BC, meaning that this is small what? Small A. So how do you find small A? If you find small A, that is BC. So A, we said A squared is given by what? b squared plus c squared minus 2bc and then you say cos okay cos you started with a so i'm going to say cos the angle a the angle a so this is going to give you a squared being equal to what is b so if you see b is here mean that small b is going to be this one okay they've given you small b that is 10 you square that and then what you see, C is here. You've got this side where it's pointing. That is going to be small C. That is 7. You square it. And then minus 2, you get B. We've said B is 10. And then you get C. We've said that is 7. And then cos A. A is what? Now remember, this is capital A. That is not small A, meaning that it is an angle. The angle A is 30 degrees. Okay, so this means that... This is going to give us a squared being equal to 10 squared is 100. 7 squared is 49. So this is going to be 149 
and then minus 2 multiplied by 10 is 20 times 7 that will be is it uh, first if we say 2 times 7 that is 14 times 10 that is going to be 140 so that will be 140 cos c 30 so for this one it comes in paper 2 so you are going to use the calculator in paper 2 so you just punch direct what you have here okay so this is going to give us a squared being equal to 149 minus so we are going to say 140 cos 30 just punch on the calculator 140 and then cos 30 so that is going to give us 121.2435565 so this will give us a squared being equal to what we are going to now subtract 149 minus what we have okay 149 so that will be 149 minus 121.24 minus that number so this is going to give us 27.75644 and then to remain with a you are going to square root this side you also square root this side so therefore a is going to give you say the square root of 27.756 a is going to give you about 5.268 this is going to be centimeters because that's a unit so we know that a is bc okay so that is a, the answer is this okay? Yes, it's okay. All right. So we can as well use the cosine rule to find the angle that is missing. We, we can look at an example. Let's say we've been given a triangle like this one. Okay, so here we have, so let's say this is the side A, this is B, and then this is C. Now, we've been given that, let's say this is 5 centimeters, let's say this is uh, 7 centimeters, and then this is 10 centimeters. And then the question says, find, uh, we want to find the angle ABC. Okay, we want to find angle ABC. So what is angle ABC? If you look, this is A, B, C. So you get the angle that is on the mid, meaning that we want to find the angle B, this one. Okay, so since we want to find the angle B, look at the side where B points, that is this small b. Okay, where A points, that is this small a. Where C points, that is this small c. So meaning for me to get the angle B, we are going to use also the cosine rule. We are going to say small b squared is going to be equal to small a squared plus small c squared minus 2ac. And then now you say cos. What you started with is a small b. So now we are going to say cos big b like that, capital B. And then you are going to substitute. What is small b? Promoter able to see what is what is b? What is B from here, Mark? So this side you are able to see here, that is B. Okay, that is 10 squared. And that is going to be equal to this side you are able to see here, that is A. So that is going to be 7 squared. And then C is 5. 5 squared. Then minus 2A is 7. C, sorry, A was supposed to be, yeah, A is 7, and then C is 5. And then cos C, B. Okay, cos B there. So 10 squared is 100. And this is going to be equal to 7 squared is 49. And then plus 5 squared is 25. Minus 2 times 7 times 5, that is going to give us uh, 70 cos B. So this is going to give us 100 
is equal to 49 plus 25 that will give us 74 minus 70 cos b so i'm going to get this the negative 70 cos b i'll take it the other side it becomes positive 70 cos b okay and this is going to be equal to what remain here is 74 and then i'll take this 100 i'll take it the other side it becomes negative 100 right that will be negative 100 so this is going to be 70 cos b and that will be 74 minus 100 that is going to give us negative 26 so now from here divide both sides by 70 to remain with cos b so divide here by 70 also here divide by 70 so that will give us cos b being equal to so if you punch this so this one and this one will cancel out so negative 26 divided by 70 that is going to give negative 0 0.3714 okay so now you want to remain with b that's the angle so b is going to be equal to cosine inverse okay you take cos this side so it will be cosine inverse of negative 0 0.3714 so that will give you b So cosine inverse of what we have here. So the angle is going to be 111.8 degrees. So this is how you find the answer.